He said, hey, where did you get these funny ideas from? This fairy tale about a big bang. He said, no, 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 it is not fairy tale. These are facts, demonstrable facts. We can demonstrate it, show you what is happening. Hey guys, we are bumping to the guys who react to it. Jessica. Guys, this will be God assistant to the Big Bang Theory. I'm not to that. Guys, this is for all my ages, brothers and sisters, and people who still think it's just God or something like that. But I will show you guys. I feel, I mean, that will give you a comprehensive answer about this. So guys, let's get straight into this. Substance of the message. Allah says, another example I give you. This is no, not the unbelievers see. These atheists, these agnostics, the people who deny the existence of God, can't they see? In other words, Allah expects them to see, to be able to see, to witness. That the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit of creation. And he split the messenger. Who is he talking to? Who is he addressing? Kafir. Which Kafir? The Badwins of 1400 years ago? No, no. What can the poor man understand? Well, what did he know about the universe, about the creations of the heavens and the earth? What did he know? He only accepted whatever was said. If this was Allah's kalam, amanna saddakna. We hear and we accept. We believe. This was Iman that they had. They didn't have a grasp. Allah is not addressing those unbelievers of the times of Muhammad, or the unbelievers in the Congo, or among the Eskimos who might not believe in God. No, 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 no. He is talking to the men of science, men of learning, who are now expounding to the world the theory of creation. That these astronomers, with the mighty telescopes, when they're looking into space and they're analyzing the, the movements in the heavens and they're telling you as if they did it, if they are the ones who are making these things, this machine, this clock to work, this clock of the universe, the way they explain it as if they are doing it. Such a person with his great learning, he says that this universe came into being with a big bang billions of years ago. Because he's watching the universe and he's noticing that these heavenly bodies are receding from a central place somewhere. Is all going out in all directions, moving away, away, away. Like a balloon. When you blow, it gets bigger and bigger. Something like that is happening in the skies, in the heavens. These galaxies, they're receding from us at a faster and faster speed. At a faster and faster speed. And once they reach the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. Once they reach that speed, we won't be able to see it anymore because the light that is coming from there, it won't be coming anymore, it's going away. So we must discover bigger and better telescopes to see the sights, the wonders, otherwise we'll miss the bus. So they say that this universe came into being with a big bang, the big bang theory. Who says that? the most learned men of science, astronomers. They say, hey, where did you get these funny ideas from? This fairy tale about a big bang. So no, 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 it is not fairy tale. These are facts, demonstrable facts. We can demonstrate it, show you what is happening. And from that we can conclude, if we had a film and put in reverse gear, so we could see what is happening is all coming back again. With the way it's going out, the balloon, if we can deflate it, you'll see it all coming back to one central point. And there was a big bang. When did you discover this? He said, yesterday. Because 50 years is yesterday in the history of man. What is 50 years? Nothing. As an, an illiterate man in the desert, a person who didn't know how to read or write, a person who couldn't sign his own name, he could have, couldn't have known this, could he? He says, no, never. Impossible. Man doesn't know astronomy. He hasn't got the instruments, he hasn't got a telescope, nothing. In the desert. And among an Ummi people, illiterate people. And he is now telling you, this man in the desert, 1400 years ago, Kana Taratkan, 
ففتقنه هما and he split them asunder a new biologist people who study minute life microplotism the amoeba he says you know life originated in the sea water without this water no life and they tell you says, look we look back in time in space he says look this is how life originated there was a time when this earth was a molten mass nothing could have survived here everything boiling boiling and over a period of billions of years you know the vapors went up and came down and the vapors went up and came down and start cooling this earth it took a billions of years and then started life germs plant life and all these things started at one time there was nothing and then it started where did life come from he says from the sea certain chemical action the sun playing its part and life started from there Mm -hmm. When did you find this out? It's yesterday. Because 50 years is yesterday in the history of man. An illiterate man in the desert, he couldn't have known that, could he? He says, no, never. He says, well, listen. So, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ And he has made from water every living thing. So, أَفَلَا يُمِنُونَ Will you then not believe? Who? You, men of science, you, men of learning, you kafir, you atheist, you agnostic, why can't you believe? Yeah. Guys, he said God made things out of water. Yeah, I really don't think that was in the Bible. No, it wasn't. Maybe he's talking about Islam. Yeah, but, like, I, I, we need to check out the full video like after that i i don't know what he's talking i i enjoyed like i was lost in thought thinking about what he was saying like mm -hmm. i enjoyed it because if you want to be honest with yourself most scientists actually have confirmed that there is gut because there are some things that they just won't explain like the brain the eyes like there's no explanation you give but then most of them like i feel most of them are ignorance like you can't really explain this particular thing but then you still don't believe that there's a supernatural explanation to this yeah so yeah most of them are actually ignorant like very ignorant i won't say ignorant but they're scared to believe but they know that if they want to believe and follow the religion they have to believe a certain way so yeah, they don't want to like give yourself the uh, yeah, I definitely understand. responsibility. They like living their life free, they can drink with what they want to do. And wow. I pray this video get out there and maybe one or two people see it and they decide to change and give their life right. But I just like share cut our channel. Tell me what you think about this video, such like share cut our channel. We'll see you next time guys.